everyone. Welcome to another episode of Osborne Pro TV. Today I'm going to show you a few actions you can take to speed up your Windows 10 or Windows 11 device. Um, so starting off we want to open our view advanced system settings which uh, is this icon here. All of these we're going to be searching for using the Windows search. Search Windows advanced system settings or view advanced system settings. Open this up. Then we want to go to the Advanced tab, and in the Performance box here, we're going to click Settings, and chances are you have let Windows choose what's best for my computer. Uh, what we're going to do is select Adjust for Best Performance, and then we're going to select Custom, and we're going to tick the boxes for Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts, Show Windows Contents while Dragging, and Show Thumbnails instead of Icons. Uh, then we'll click OK and this should already start improving your computer speed a little bit. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is open File Explorer. Um, if you're not familiar with that, that's basically uh, this icon here. When you open this up, this is the File Explorer window. Uh, we're going to go to View and then Options. And then we want to go to the View tab in the Folder Options window that comes up and then we scroll down about halfway and we want to see this right here launch folder windows in a separate process tick that box and what that does is when it loads file explorer it the contents inside of it are loaded in a separate process which um, gives it a dedicated pr process and speeds up how the loading times um, so we click OK uh, the other thing we can look at is our mouse. So if we open Control Panel again, we can search Control Panel in our Windows Search and open it. Um, then in the top right corner, what we're going to do is search Mouse. And then we can select uh, Change Mouse Settings, or any of these probably take us there. And then if we go to Pointer Options, if this box is ticked, you want to untick it because um, it sounds like it's making things faster, but it's really not. It's adding extra processing time and you don't need it. Um, if anything else is ticked, you can have it match my settings here and this should help with your mouse functionality. Uh, so we'll click OK to set that. Um, another thing we want to check is Task Manager. A lot of people know how to get there by doing Control-Alt-Delete and then selecting Task Manager. You can also search uh, task MGR and that will, this is the icon for it, and you would open it up that way. Once the application's open, you can go to startup and then sort um, by startup impact or status. Anything that's enabled, you can disable and that will speed up um, how long it takes Windows to load when you initially turn on your device. You do not want to disable Realtek HD Audio Manager uh, most likely because you want to keep your sound. You want to keep Windows security notification icon so that you uh, have your Windows security enabled. For me, I would probably disable Proton Drive if I was having issues or um, VMware tray process wouldn't hurt um, uh, to disable either. Uh, anything else that you have um, in your task manager that matches mine, feel free to disable it and it shouldn't hurt anything, or it won't hurt anything, I should say. Um, but make sure you leave these couple things enabled. Anything that's Microsoft, um, you don't want to hurt nothing, right? All right, so that's that part of it. And another thing we can do here is the power settings. So if we open control panel again, and actually, I think power settings move to settings, but we're going to search. So uh, if we search power up in the top right corner, we have our power options here. And then you may have multiples of these, or you may just have one option. Either way, you want to go to change plan settings. Um, if you can select high performance, do that. And then after you click on edit plan settings, we would click change advanced power settings. Um, and just the turn off display and put computer to sleep are not going to uh, not going to speed up your computer. You can set whatever time you want there. Uh, but a couple things we want to do is for our wireless adapter settings, we want to put power saving mode setting to maximum performance. We don't want our um, 
our network interface card being turned off and preventing us from getting internet when the computer sleeps or goes into a state. Um, the other thing we can do is processor power management. We can set the processor state. Uh, the minimum performance state is 100%, um, so we're not limiting the processor, and maximum processor state is set to the same, 100%. Um, and that prevents any, um, any limitation on the processor. Um, so those are your power settings. If you're having issues with your computer, and another thing you can do is open PowerShell as an admin. Um, so one way to do this is you can search PowerShell down here uh, in your search. Right click and select run as administrator. That will open it up as an administrator. And there's two main commands that you can use at this point. The first one is SFC slash scan now. And what that will do is it's system file checker. It fixes any issues with your system files. And the next time you reboot your computer, it applies the repairs to them. After that command runs, you want you can run a dism command. So dism online cleanup dash image slash restore health. And this does a similar thing where it fixes any corrupt uh, files that it finds. Um, it will let both of these commands will let you know after they uh, finish executing. They take a little while to execute, or I would, you know, execute them, or we could wait for it on this video. But um, basically, they'll let you know if there's issues. Restart your computer after these complete, and they will resolve any issues that they've come across. Um, if you like this video, leave a like and um, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching.